Data from satellites reveals the interconnection between air, sea, and land. This is a visualization of three aerosols, dust, smoke, and sea salt. The Calypso satellite data reveals in 3D how dust from the arid Sahara Desert is lifted by the winds each year and transported nearly 5,000 kilometers across the Atlantic Ocean. Some of it settles in the Amazon Basin, the largest rainforest on the planet. Sahara dust contains phosphorus, an important nutrient for plants. Calypso shows that on average, 182 million tons of dust leaves Africa each year. When the Sahel was dry, the dust transport to the Amazon in the next year would increase. When it was wet, dust transport would decrease. We can now track global precipitation, wind currents, cloud cover and ocean temperature. Satellites have detected a shift in phytoplankton populations across the planet's five great ocean basins, showing the expansion of biological deserts where little life thrives. Diatoms are one of the most abundant types of marine phytoplankton, but a new 15-year-long NASA study reveals global populations have declined. Diatoms, like all phytoplankton, have chlorophyll, the same photosynthesizing pigment as plants. They occupy the surface of the ocean, where they harvest light from the sun. In large numbers, diatoms form colorful swirling blooms that can be seen from space. According to the study, significant decreases in populations, shown here in red, are mainly in the northern hemisphere. Diatoms rely on nutrients such as nitrate, silicate and iron to reach the surface layer where they live. What our study shows is that the availability of these nutrients has changed due to the way they cycle within the water column. Diatoms occupy the surface area of the ocean called the mixed layer. Nutrients collect on the ocean floor and are cycled up to this layer. Various physical forces can cause the depth of the mixed layer to become shallower so that fewer nutrients reach the diatoms. Without these, their populations decline. This map shows areas on the globe where the depth of the mixed layer shallowed. It's hard to pinpoint exactly why these changes have happened. Things like wind, circulation and temperature can affect the way these nutrients are brought to the surface layer. We hope a longer study can yield more information on whether these changes are in fact a trend or variability. Next generation satellites are reaching orbit now to continue this important work. They will collect data, maintain observation continuity, and allow scientists to track the changes in our environment. They can then model dynamic simulations to better understand this unique planet and the myriad of life forms that rely on it.